welcome back everyone today we will be attempting leak code number nine palindrome number we have a given integer x and we need to return true if x is a palindrome and false if otherwise so we have some examples here let's say we have a input x which is 121 a palindrome number is basically if you reverse it so in this case we reverse it it will be equal the same so this is a palindrome 121 is a palindrome the next example is that we have negative 121 so if we reverse it we will actually get one two one and a dash behind it so this is not a palindrome and would come back false the next example that we have is 10. so if we reverse 10 we will get zero one and it should come back false because this is not a palindrome so now that we know what a palindrome is let's create the algorithm so in python what we will be doing this is a specific to python solution so let's say we have the int the int x we would convert it to a string And then we would compare it to the reversed x. So let's say the string we get is 1, 2, 1. We convert it to a string in Python. And then we compare it to the reversed. In this case, it's 121. In this case, if we compare it, it will come back true for the next example if we have negative one two one convert it to a string and then compare it to one two one negative this would come out false because it's not the same and lastly let's say we have 10 and then we compare it we convert it to a string and then we compare it to the reversed this also should come back false so all overall the time complexity would be O of N, where N is the number of digits in the integer. So now that we have this sorted out, we can go into the lead code and solve it. So what we will begin with is the string x. We can compare it. This is how you convert the integer x to a string. By the way, you just put str, parenthesis, and then x. And then compare it to str x again. This is how we convert it to a string but we need to reverse it so in python the way you can reverse it is putting brackets two colons and then minus one so this right here should be the reverse of the integer well technically the, the reverse of the string that we converted from the integer and if we want to get the result we can return it so we return the comparison is string x equal to the reverse. And we can run it. And then it is came out correct in the test cases. 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 and 10. 
and yes that is it if you like this video please subscribe and like and watch out for more goodbye